I've dropped the ball with this one a little bit. Carbonation's a bit fierce. Ah, uh, well, I say fierce. There's more in there than what I would prefer. But I must say, she's looking absolutely crystal clear. This is the Mosaic Pale Ale, where we just had Mosaic for the hop. And it was the first beer that we brewed up in this brewery that we added water additions. Now, I'm not saying the water additions are perfect because I've still got to work around adding more of this, less of that to get them, you know, bang on. Now it's the final thoughts, final tastings, it's conditioned. We're going to see if the more additions have played a part. But anyway, let's get an aroma on it. Oh. Yeah, man. So this is about three and a half weeks into conditioning, maybe four actually. I've dropped the ball a little bit with this because uh, because of Maisie coming, the newborn, so things in here have took a back seat. So possibly four weeks conditioning. But the aroma is still mosaic. She's changed a little bit in this uh, four weeks of conditioning. About a week into it, it was big, big, mango, fresh mango juice, mango puree, mango, 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 coming straight out of the glass. And not a lot has changed. There's still heaps of mango, tropical mango coming out of it, but the malts are now coming forward. There's a, there's a slight caramel malt coming through. It smells good, it smells good. So uh, as far as the smell goes, we are definitely picking out aromas a little bit clearer. Let's go for a taste, guys. Cheers. Can't wait. Oh, that's holding up pretty well. I could say a month in the keg about that. Could be wrong on that, but it's had a fair old whack in the keg. That's holding up really, really good. Really good. I'd say two weeks into conditioning when I would, would normally have done the review, the mosaic was definitely, definitely bouncing out the glass and it's a little bit subdued the hops are um, edging off a little bit but that's not to say they're not there they're definitely there definitely there the malts the hops the bittering is quite nicely balanced i would like to revisit this when i start looking into my ph i'm probably going to have a word with tony yates about the amounts that i added in it and see what he thinks see if there's any um, playoffs between adding less of one salt addition and putting more in of the other. Again, I'll be doing the same with Harry. We'll probably get together, all three of us, have a good old drink on the hangouts and, uh, and discuss. Because I've never used salt additions in my homebrew before, I have nothing to gauge it off. I sent this to Harry, obviously in the, in the travelling growler that's going around the UK at the minute, and he said it was like 90% there, so thing that's definitely standing out, the thing that I can say without a doubt that the salt additions have done, it's allowed the malts and the hops to almost separate and pop. And it's only really noticeable now drinking this from when I've drunk the other beers that I brewed here, that the salt additions have added that uh, definite pop to the, to the malts and the hops. You get a a real roundness to both instead of everything sort of getting a little bit muddled and that seems to get a little bit worse over time when things are getting past the best they seem to get a little bit more muddled but because of the salt additions everything's popping everything's fresh it's, it's really good actually that's held up okay i'm pleased with that it's definitely one to rebrew i might see if i can cram a bit more a bit more of that mango in there. I don't know how I could manage that as there was loads in there, but I'd, uh, I'd quite like to dry hop the hell out of this one or possibly take this base and use it for the next New England IPA recipe. I think this, this would lend itself well to having a few oats thrown at it, a bit of wheat, chuck some of that mosaic in while it's fermenting. I think that's, 
I think that's what I'm going to do for the next brew day. If you haven't seen the brew day video, go and check it out. It'll be in the playlist uh, that this one completes. But that's it, fellas. In fact, I've got uh, I've got Louis Theroux coming in a minute, so I'm going to pour him a glass and we'll probably end on his thoughts on it. That is. I think that's one of your best, Thomas. Well, that's the first one we brewed up with the salt additions. Man. Oh, I could drink that all day long. You're bloody not. <laughs> There's not that much left. You're bloody not. It's to Maisie. It's to Maisie. It's to Maisie. Chin chin. Chin chin. Well, that's it, fellas. So, as always, guys, don't forget to thumb this video because you don't want to do. Don't forget to hit this little icon to subscribe, click it and you won't miss out what's coming up next. Share the video, get it out there for all to see and until next time, I'm out of here. Boop.